Welcome back to the Girly Girl Book Worm. So you may recognize this outfit because I just filmed a book haul in this, but it's now a couple hours later and I finished Into the Night by Sarah Bailey, which I received as an ARC from NetGalley. So here's the cover. I believe it was actually just released this week, so I'm a little behind and I'm so sorry. I kept telling myself that I was going to read this the week before it got released and if you haven't been watching me, I'm a teacher... It's been conference and report card season, so I apparently didn't think things through that I wasn't going to have time to read. But at least I read it, and I really enjoyed it. This is the sequel to The Dark Lake by Sarah Bailey. Obviously by Sarah Bailey. That was silly. I got this book from um, Book of the Month um, last year, and I just read it a couple months ago. So when I knew that there was a sequel coming out, I knew I just had to read it, so I requested it from... Nick Alley and I was so, whoop, sorry, and I was so lucky to receive it. So um, I really enjoyed this. Is there? Is it follows a detective named Gemma, and in the first book she's kind of back in her hometown, and there's a murder that happens. A school teacher is murdered, and she kind of has to figure out who did it. And she is going through just life in general, too. She's got a son. She was at that point with a significant other, the son's father. But she wasn't married. So she didn't have that strong connection. He wanted more out of her than she could give him because of the fact that she is a detective. And that takes a lot out of you. Um, so she wasn't able to give as much as she wanted to to the relationship. So we follow her solving this mystery in this book. And once that mystery kind of comes to a close, things happen in her life which kind of push her in the direction that she goes into in this book. Um, she's now in a different city. And I won't explain to you why she's in that different city. But she's in a different city now. And this crime revolves around... Um, an actor who is murdered. He's on the set of a movie and he is murdered while they're filming and she's got to again crack the case. And to me I really enjoyed this book. Um, I enjoyed both of them. This book I know a lot of people had a harder time with because it was slower paced. It's not one of those mysteries that like pushes you to like keep going. It kind of develops slowly over time so if you're not in the mood for a slower mystery it could take you by surprise and make you like not interested. But if you stick through it it's really really good and I have to say that this book did a really nice job with the pacing. Into the Night um, definitely increased the um, drive. I read this all today in one sitting, not in one sitting. I had to break it up because we had errands to run, but I read the first 50% this morning, went to Target, ran my errands, came home, and I was able to power through the other 50%. Um, so I think that speaks to the speed of this book, that it's able to be read a lot quicker. Um, the mystery keeps you more engaged and keeps you guessing. Um, I think the whole Hollywood um, nature of it really ed keeps it energized um, versus this one was kind of just a local um, story. Um, but either way, I really enjoyed it and I really like the development that Gemma is kind of going through. I'm hoping with a third book We'll really finally see Gemma kind of learning from mistakes a little bit more. She goes through a lot in this book, which leads her to make some really weird decisions that I wasn't thrilled about in Into the Night. Um, so I'm hoping that she finally can find herself in the next book. Um, I don't know how many books are planned for this series, um, but I just felt like I wanted more of that connection like I knew that the mystery wasn't obviously going to continue from one book to the other but I was hoping her development her character development was going to be a little bit different there's another character that she's involved with in this book that I was also expecting to be in this book and he wasn't really there um so, so in some ways the books felt very separate like I could read this or I could read this one and it really didn't matter if I read both um so I would have liked that to be a, I would have liked the connection a little bit more. Um, and like I said, I, I wish she could develop a little bit faster for a, I believe she's like 33. I just felt like 
she could be making better life decisions. Um, I don't know how to say things without spoiling it. This, it, like I said, it is the sequel. It can be read alone, but I don't want to spoil it for anybody who is interested in reading it from the get go. But what I have to say is, if you are, if you like the Camorn Strike series by J.K. Rowling, if you like those types of books where you can kind of follow the same detective throughout and different cases in each book, I think that you would really like this series. So I definitely recommend that you check it out because I am ready for book three already. I know book three is not probably going to be for a while. I don't even know if it's announced. I don't even know if it's planned. But I'm ready for another mystery to be solved by her um, because they are rather engaging. And I hope that through this review you're at least interested in either picking up The Dark Lake or if you've already read it and you weren't sure if you wanted to continue, I hope that you will continue on and read Into the Night because I rather enjoyed it and I definitely recommend this mystery series. So de check out um, links down below. I'll put the Goodreads link down for both books. Um, and I will put my um, link to my blog down below where I will put a completely written review for this book also on my blog. So definitely go check it out and I will see you guys really really soon. Bye everybody!